lethargic sloth here, and Ireland, you're up. The latest live version I found was a Dancing with the Stars episode for Sarah McTurnan and her song 22, so I want to hear how it sounds live and uh, give you my thoughts on it at the end. So if uh, your country has a live version that I haven't reviewed yet, I would be glad to do so. So let me know if there's a version out there. Uh, as soon as I find them, I've been trying to get reactions up just to, you know, gauge all everybody. Uh, I'm trying to see some of their live songs. And I'll go back and look at some of their older songs, too, for the artists from Eurovision of this year. I'm just trying to get to know how they sound and perform live and everything. So um, let's take a look at Sarah McTurnan here. And... The video even says the quality is bad, sorry. So that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> I'll see 22, oh man, I think of you. Lately, that's all I do. Yeah. And don't you know that I, I'm always driving by when I come home to you. Oh, I know. I've always been afraid to say how I feel. It's got to change Every time I'm with somebody There's a new with you Sounds like the studio track Sounds really good, actually I love the guitar in this. It's just a pretty song. Now her voice sounds a little stressed here, I will point that out. But she sounds really good otherwise. Sounds pretty good. Like in the live vocals. There we go. Nailed that. Okay. Well, yeah, like part of that, I feel like her voice was a little stressed. Maybe she's been singing a lot. It's, she sounded like maybe something was going on there a little bit in parts. But yeah, I think it sounded good for the most part. Um, I know this is not the staging for Eurovision. I'm going to throw that out there. I don't want somebody in the comments section, right? You know, this isn't the actual staging, right? I, I, I know. But this is what she can't do at Eurovision. Um, what I said in my review, she can't stand there in a little circle the entire time. She has to walk around. She has to interact. She has to use the stage. So this, I know that this isn't what they're going to bring to Eurovision, but if it's like this, I worry this song will not qualify. If it's kind of her just in a little circle and the dancers are out in front of her and it's not showcasing her. It really has to showcase her. Because it's her story. You're trying to invest in her story about her former love or love that's on her mind. You have to showcase her. So uh, 
they can't do this at Eurovision if the song wants to qualify, which I'm not saying they are. <laughs> I'm just saying this is exactly what I was talking about in my review for this song, that if they do something like this, the song's not going to connect with the audience. So uh, vocally, though, I thought she was good. I do think there's maybe an illness or a uh, vocal strain a little bit, but she sounded really good where she needed to, and uh, I think this is going to be really nice to listen to. Again, completely unique song, and I, I actually really like this Ireland, so I think you definitely have a chance to qualify. Uh, she just needs to uh, hopefully have a competent staging that's focusing on her, because it's her story. You invest in her, the character she creates. It's not about the dancers, it's not about the lights and the flash, it's about her and telling the story. So that's my only advice, uh, take it or leave it. <laughs> and I hope good things are coming your way, Ireland, because I actually really like the song. So, okay, for now, Lethargic Sloth, out. <laughs>